Hi guys and thanks for tuning in again. So today we're just doing a fun purple and gold smoky eye look, something that I would wear on a night out and we're just going in with some old faithful products as well. So if you want to see which products I bring back and see how to get this look then just stay tuned and let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start by priming our skin and I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Pro Radiant Cool Pink Primer and I'm just going to apply this all over my face with my fingertips making sure that I've rubbed it in really well. Then to make sure that we have a really good defined eye I'm going to take some scotch tape, apply this to the back of my hands a couple of times and then apply this in an upwards motion on the outer corners of my eye and this just means that we can be a little bit messy with our eyeshadow but when taken off it will give us a really clean and even cut line and then next I'm going to apply my concealer to give a good base to my eyeshadows and this is just the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Chantilly I'm just going to blend this in with a Tarte makeup brush This just gives a really even base to my eyeshadow and then I'm going to set this with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Shade in Banana and just a stippling brush just to make sure that everything is set and just give a really smooth base for my eyeshadow to go on with. I'm then going in with my NARS eyeshadow palette and I'm taking the lightest shade. The NARS eyeshadow palette is the NARS Assist L'Amour palette and I'm just going to apply this matte cream shade into my crease with a fluffy blending brush just backwards and forwards and this will just be my transition shade just making sure that I'm really working this in as I said previously with the tape you don't have to be super neat so you can be a bit sloppy with this and the tape catches any fallout I'm then going in with the slightly darker sort of taupe brown in the NARS Assist palette and I'm just working this into my outer corner and the lower half of my crease with a slightly denser angled shadow brush. This is a BH Cosmetics eyeshadow brush and just repeating again on the other eye just right into that outer corner right along to the tip and bringing it up into my crease in sort of a triangular motion. As you can see here I'm just adjusting the tape slightly as I wanted a cleaner line. And then just backwards and forwards with that same taupe shade just to define and cut out the nice sharp edge that along my tape. So now I'm going in with my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm taking the shade Mocha which is a slightly warmer dark brown and I'm just taking that same dense angled shadow brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm just going over that turp brown shade just deepening up the outer edge of my eye just in that same V shape and then repeating again on the other side just deepening everything up giving it more dimension and just really blending everything out and then I'm going to go back in with my fluffy blending brush with no extra product and just blend out the edges so now I'm going back in with my NARS Assist palette and I'm taking the slightly cream champagne shimmer shade with a flat shader brush and I'm just packing this colour on all to my all across my lid and just taking it up to the edge of my crease just focusing it more on the inner corner but taking it right out just making sure that I've really packed the colour on So now is the time to bring in the purple element and I'm going in with my MAC Fig 1 purple shadow and I'm just taking this into my outer V right up into my crease just really blending this out and working it in with a dense shadow brush and just repeating on the same eye just on the other eye just focusing right on the outer corner in that V shape just really smirking this look out. 
I'm now going to go back in with my fluffy blending brush and just blend these two shadows in the middle just so that there's no harsh lines. So I'm just blending the purple and the champagne lid. I'm now taking another MAC shade called Star Violet and a flat shader brush and I'm just applying this between the champagne shade and the darker purple just making it more of a gradient and adding a bit more shimmer and depth to the look. So I'm just packing this on and blending it between the two different shadows backwards and forwards making sure that both eyes are even and bringing it right in with whatever's left on my brush to the inner corner just to give a slightly lighter purple colour. I'm now going in with my Makeup Revolution liquid eyeliner and I'm just going to apply a thin wing to my lash line using the tape here is a really good method if you've not got the steadiest hand as it cleans up any edges when you remove it. So once I have my wing on both eyes I'm just going to remove the tape and then I'm going to take a makeup wipe and just remove any fallout and just clear up the outer line. And then we are moving on to base. So I'm going in with my Dior Forever foundation in 020 and I'm just going to apply a few dots of this all over my face with my finger. I'm then going to take my Morphe foundation brush and I'm just going to buff this out and blend it all in. So this is my Dior Skin Forever Flawless per Perfection Fusion Wear Makeup and I would say it's more of a medium coverage foundation but it can be built up to full coverage. It doesn't have much of a scent to it, it just smells a bit like normal makeup and it does have an SPF of 25 so if you are going to be taking any flash photography it's not the best as it will give you some flashback but it does give a really nice finish and a really nice base it's not too matte it's not too dewy it's just that perfect in the middle sort of skin finish so I'm just blending this out making sure that I've covered everything I need to and of course just being really careful around the eyes where we've applied our wing and obviously don't forget to bring this down onto your neck and apply a bit to your ears just so that everything blends in it's all the same colour and the same finish. So once we have blended out our foundation it's now on to concealer and I'm going back in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the colour Chantilly and I'm just applying this under my eyes in a triangular shape just to really highlight and cover up any dark circles. I find that this concealer and foundation combo work really well together, they both have the same sort of natural finish and they blend really nicely. So as you can see I'm just going in with my Tarte makeup brush and just blending this out, more of a dabbing motion than a swiping and this does give me a really bright under eye. It's maybe possibly a bit too light, I could have gone in with my other shade which is Custard but this is one I picked up so we can make this work just by using some other products. So just repeating on the other eye, blending in just to be careful of that wing and shadow that we had applied just making sure that everything is really bright blended and that there's no harsh lines again. I'm then going to set my concealer with my Laura Mercier brightening powder and a small MAC duo fibre brush just to make sure that I can get right into all the corners and the creases and I find that this just really sets my concealer in place all day and nothing moves at all. I'm then going to go back in with that same concealer and I'm just going to highlight the high points of my face which is my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid spur and my chin and just blend all of this out and this just brings everything forwards with a nice highlight. I'm going to use a jelly highlighter by Makeup Revolution in the shade Monumental and it's just a nice gold champagne and I'm just going to apply this to the high points of my cheekbones with my fingertip and just blend this all out. I'm also going to apply this down the bridge of my nose and onto the end of my nose and just a small amount onto my cupid spur and once I've applied my powder products this will just shine through and give me a really nice glow. Next I'm going in with some mascara and this is just the Makeup Revolution mascara 
in black and I'm just applying a light coat to my top lashes and then off camera I will be applying my falses. Okay so my false lashes have been applied and I went in with the Eyelor Lux lashes in solitaire and these are a mink effect lash. You just get them from Superdrug, Boots and some other places. They're about £6 a pair and they are really really good. And now we are back on to the eyes. So to add a little bit of sparkle, I'm going in with my Bobbi Brown Black Ruby Sparkle Eye Palette in the shade Pink Rose, which is a sparkle eyeshadow. It is quite an old palette, but they still do have the single sparkle eyeshadows available. They're really nice, sort of a creamy shadow with quite a lot of sparkle in. So once I've applied this, I am then going back in with a Jaclyn Hill Morphe shadow in the colour Royalty which is a really deep vibrant purple and I'm taking a pencil brush and I'm just applying this to my lower lash line taking it right from the outer corner to the inner corner and then obviously repeating on the other eye from outer to inner corner really smirking it out. I'm then going back in with the MAC shadow in figure 1 and taking a small penciled detail brush and just really applying this and working it into my crease, sort of giving it more of a cut crease look just to add some extra dimension, add some more purple and smirk it out. I'm then going in with the same MAC shadow and the same pencil definer brush and I'm just smirking out my lower lash line more, adding some more depth and some more purple to the eye look. So after really smoking out that lower lash line I'm then going in with my Makeup Revolution mascara and just giving a good coat to my lower lashes and just slightly coating my upper lashes just to blend in those falses. Now we are back onto the face and moving on to contour. I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour shade in Java and a stippling brush and just applying this to my cheekbones where you would naturally see the shadows and taking it up onto the temples and to my forehead making sure that when you blend out your contour you blend it upwards not downwards to avoid looking muddy and bringing it up onto your forehead just so that everything blends in seamlessly together so now we've applied a base and bronzed up the skin I'm going in with that same shade and my NARS Eater brush and just really carving out my contour on my cheekbones just working right into that hollow underneath my high points just really deepening and defining I'm then going in again with my NARS Eater brush and just applying this contour down the sides of my nose onto my chin and round my jawbone and then back in with a stippling brush just to blend everything out then it's time for blush i'm using the bobby brown blush in the color pale pink which is a nice cool toned blush which makes you look more fresh and awake and i'm just applying this to the apples of my cheeks and just blending it outwards towards my temples Next I'm going back in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills shade, contour shade in banana and I'm just using my beauty blender just to clean up underneath my contour and just really define and carve everything out. Just applying it round onto my chin and then any areas where I feel will crease throughout the day. And now for my favourite part of any makeup look which is the highlight and I'm going in with an oldie butter goodie and that's the Mary Lou Luminizer from The Balm and I'm just going to use my MAC brush I normally use to highlight which is the MAC 159 and I'm going to spray my blush a brush with some of the NYX setting spray and then just go into the highlighter onto the high points of my cheekbones and as you can see, once you've dampened your brush, it just gives a really, really nice high shine. And it's such a nice champagne, pale, creamy shade. Then I'm just applying this onto the tip of my nose, down the bridge of my nose, onto my cupid spur. And then to be even more extra, we are going in with a second highlight shade just to blend in a custom colour. And this is a shade Sure Girl by MAC, which has a slightly pinky purple undertone to the girl which will blend in really well with the eye look and I'm going to apply this onto the tops of my cheekbones I'm going to use this as my inner corner highlight and underneath my brow burn 
obviously again adding some fix plus to my brushes just to really intensify and make this even more dramatic I'm then going in with my NYX Dew Drops setting spray and just applying a good even layer all over my face and then just allowing it to dry for a minute and then just taking my damp beauty blender and just dapping this all across the points that we've highlighted just to really melt that highlight in and to set any powders next we are now brushing off the bake from underneath our contour as you can see it just really cleans up the area and makes everything look much sharper now for the lips i am going in with my lip pencil in strip down by mac and i'm just going to line my lips nothing crazy no overlining just a nice line i'm now moving on to the final lip shade and I'm going in with a Kylie Jenner gloss in the shade literally which is a nice nudey pinky brown and it's quite an opaque gloss it's not too sticky it's just really nice and creamy and gives a really good color payoff thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe and share with your friends and stay tuned for the next one thanks very much guys bye